Hi guys, so it's been a while since I've done a Friday read, so I'm actually going to do two weeks worth of Friday reads, um, just because I was planning on starting them again and then my computer crashed and I just haven't had a chance to get back caught up on them. So let's get started with what I've read. Um, firstly, I finished for I Like Big Books and Gaskell Reads Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, I think I finished this, actually I'll pull it up on my Goodreads. I finished this on June 21st. So I finished this well ahead of schedule. Um, I'll probably be posting a video and starting a Goodreads group um, for those of you who like participating in this. I know I've received a couple people who have um, added me as a friend on Goodreads saying that they're taking part in this, which is awesome. I'm so excited people are reading this. Um, I really enjoyed this book. The ending is a bit abrupt. There's not really a conclusion, um, which I was a little bit upset about, but I read into why that is, and it's because she didn't finish it before she died, which is really upsetting, but I still really enjoyed this book. Um, highly recommend it. It took me, I took a couple large breaks with this. Normally with a large book, um, as you guys know from me reading Moby Dick, I get really sucked in. This one I set aside a couple times. Um, I had a lot going on in June. I kind of, yeah, I didn't really, wasn't super motivated at the beginning, but then when my computer went out of commission, I plowed through this. Now, just a reminder, when you are doing the I Like Big Books, I do like to let it last for two months, so you have tons of time to read the book. Um, I know people are still reading it right now, so yeah, keep going. You have until the end of June before we pick July, actually, June's already over, before you pick, we pick our next book. Um, so the next book I finished on the same day was Gail Foreman's Where She Went. I read If I Stay, um, if you watch my video on Monday, which was my book haul, you know I picked up If I Stay because I forgot a book when I was going to the Vault in Our Stars premiere. Um, yeah, I, like I said, not a big fan of If I Stay. I actually borrowed this off my friend Christine. It's got her little thing on the inside because I didn't feel like buying the next one, but I read it anyways because it was a really quick read. Um, yeah, did not enjoy this at all. Dear God, Adam, the, the perspective that this is told from, you are a whiny little brat. Dear God, she broke up with you three years ago. Realized that If I Stay was pretty traumatic, but like three years to get over a breakup and you still haven't? Ouch. Yeah, not a fan of this one. Gail Foreman, I don't know if I'll be reading any more of you. Um, so I also finished The Somnambulist by Essie Fox. You'll know um, I bought, this book is actually fairly expensive. Um, I always kind of hesitate before buying these books. They are beautiful though. Um, but this one's $20. It's the cheapest out of the three she has out. And the other two I think are 30 on Book Depository and I can't get them on, um, whatchamacallit, chapters. So, or Amazon, weirdly enough. You have to get these from Book Depository. Uh, this is a gothic tale. Uh, my love of gothic was kindled by the 13th Tale by Diana Setterfield and I've started to really get into it. Um, I really enjoyed this. Also, the author is freaking amazing. Uh, I bought this because I got an A on a project. I tend to reward myself for good marks with slightly more expensive books. Um, and I tweeted about it and we had an entire conversation and she is so nice. So yay, I really want to buy the rest of her books because A, her writing is fantastic and B, she's super nice. And I think that you should reward authors who are really nice. So yeah, highly recommend this if you like gothic literature and Victorian settings. I think it's Victorian. 90% certain it's Victorian, but it's wonderful. Next up, I finished Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. Um, I finished this the other night. I really like this. Not quite as much as um, The Tenant of Wildfolk Hall, which is her other work. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a nice copy of Agnes Grey, so I just got this Every Man's Library, which is still really nice, but it contains both novels, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's still a nice copy. Um, so yeah, if you like Anne Bronte, you like this. It's 
Comparing it to Jane Eyre, it's really interesting because they're both governess tales. They're told completely differently. Like this is so realistic. You actually, like as a historian, I was really excited because I was like, oh my god, this gives a fairly detailed, somewhat realistic account of what it's like to be a governess and like the weird position they hold in society. Um, so yeah, so this was really exciting as a historian, but I liked it not quite as much as The Tenant of Wild Bell Hall, um, but it was still really good. Next up, I finished The Lesson of the Master by Henry James. I finished this in like a day and a bit. I started reading this in the line at the like licensing bureau, I guess what Americans would call the DMV. Um, I had to renew my license plates for the year and <laughs> I just packed this along and was like standing there reading it while people stared at me strangely because who just stands there and reads and kind of like shuffles forward in the really slow line. Um, did not enjoy this. Nope. It is very misogynistic. The lesson of the master, spoiler alert, don't get married because women cannot help your art and cannot understand art and are just useless so don't get married if you want to be a real artist. Giant squid of anger. So, so not happy with Henry James right now. Um, this is my first Henry James book so I'll give him another chance because my friend Christine loves him but yeah, misogynistic dribble. Don't read. Next up, um, I have Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. I am still in the process of reading this. I'm not like a third of the way through. Yeah, a third. Um, this is a lot slower than other Neil Gaiman books. Um, this actually technically should have been a part of my June haul, but it came on literally the last day of June when I uploaded my June haul. Um, but yeah, I love this edition. It's beautiful. Um, I shockingly enough found this through um, Paperback Castle's uh, Ricky and yeah I, it's a bit slower I'm, I'm plowing through what's about the apocalypse um yeah I, I like it I'm just I'm kind of waiting for it to like pull me in because it's I sit down and read it before bed and I'm like okay I'm reading this because I'm reading it but not because I like have to read it like I'm not you know not super into it but hopefully it picks up. I do have faith in Neil Gaiman's writing. Um, yeah. And for my on-the-go book I am reading Adolphe by Benjamin Constant. Um, I actually really like this so far. I'm only like 40 pages in but yeah I am really enjoying this. This is another one of the Melville Publishing House um, Art of the Novella series. I'm slowly forcing myself to get back to reading these when I'm out and about. Um, yeah, they're they're good. Um, this one's really good. I'm not quite sure what it's about yet, but yeah, we're we're not there yet. We're I think it has to do with a love story. We'll see. Um, so that's really good. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention because I don't have a physical copy of them. I was reading them on my Kindle. Um, I read all five of the Percy Jackson series again. I just felt like reading um, the Percy Jackson series again, so I read The Lightning Thief. Um, Sea of Monsters, Last Olympian, I'm totally saying these out of order, something with the labyrinth and I forgot what the other one is but I read all five of them in like three days because I was just I needed something light and fluffy and I felt like it and I know the newest one is coming out um, with the series with the Greek and Roman gods in October so eventually I'll get through those five books as well. Um, if you like Greek mythology retellings, if you want something kind of light and fluffy, definitely read them. Well, I wouldn't say they're not light and fluffy, but they're like, you know, the hero's gonna win in the end kind of books, if that makes sense. It's that kind of thing where, yeah, um, I really enjoyed them. This is the second time I've read them, I want to say. Um, and I find them really entertaining. Um, I would highly recommend them for like teens, kids, adults, you know, you just if you like Greek mythology totally give them a read. So that is what I have been reading lately. Um, next week it'll actually be a Friday Reads where it's just a week and not like going back to get you guys caught up. And I will see you guys on Monday with a new video.